Okay, here we see a working project constructed using the oscilloscope printed circuit board that we've shown in previous videos. In this case, the student has chosen to use blue colored LEDs, which have a really neat visual appearance. I like it a lot. And uh, true to the nature of the project and my, my intended use for the board, this student has developed his own sweep circuit for the horizontal sweep, as well as his own vertical amplification circuit. So this way it turns what was kind of a bare cathode ray tube simulator into something that's a truly functional oscilloscope. So right now we have a signal generator that's outputting a sinusoidal signal, sine wave shape, and we can see it here and I'll let him demonstrate the adjustment. So first let's change the uh, vertical amplitude, yeah. You're changing the gain of your vertical amplifier. So without changing signal strength coming in, we can boost uh, that waveform until it goes off the screen or we can set the height as we wish. And then for the horizontal sweep, he's got another potentiometer adjustment. Changing the frequency of that, go ahead. So by setting that frequency, you can lock in the waveform now, when I say lock in, this is an analog adjustment. There's no triggering to the sweep circuit as of yet. And so at the present time, we basically just have to finely tune the sweep speed until we get the signal to lock itself in on the display. So pretty cool. And of course, we can change wave shape. For example, we'll go to a triangle wave here. And we get a clear triangle wave display on the oscilloscope. Let's go to square wave. There's our square wave. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, this is, of course, a crude oscilloscope. It's not terribly useful for making accurate measurements, but that's not really the point. The point of this is to have students do a design, engineering, and construction project where they have to come up with their own sweep circuitry and vertical amplification circuitry to make a working oscilloscope from what is essentially just a bare CRT emulator. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, cathode ray tube emulator. So, the chips and the driver circuitry, that all this uh, array of LEDs, all that does is it mimics uh, the operation of a cathode ray tube, a CRT. And by itself, you can display Lissajou figures, but it's not really a true working oscilloscope until you add the other circuitry. So good job on this project. This is really cool. I like it. Anything you want to add? Oh, I think I'm good. Okay, cool.